Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to query the documents with the filters. So for querying a document or for querying the collection or documents present in a collection. So we will be doing the query logic. So something like we will be using some comparison operators in the find query. So that means something like if the book of price is equal to 25 exactly equal to 25 or the price greater than 25 price less than 25 like this we will be doing some of the query comparison operators so the mongodb provides us in the query projection operators so it will be providing us a comparison operators let's try to see how it works now normally we have already worked on those things so we have seen but we haven't talked much on that one now in this video we'll try, try to talk about these things now first let's try to create a collection so i am creating a collection okay so i will be inserting many and here i will try to create it's an array and i will take a title just it's, it's a book one okay book one and i will keep the price as something like 12 okay and i will try to take another title book two and i will try to give the price of something like four okay let's try to insert it and we'll try to add another two uh, books something like book three and it will be a price of around 20 let's assume and here you'll be having a book four it will be price of around 25 let's insert it and let's try to insert some more again let's have some bunch of data so that we can get it very easily 30 and i will have this one as 40 okay so that's it so now let's try to see the books whether it's got inserted correctly or not find dot pretty if you try to see so these are all the list of documents now you need to remember that when you are trying to query that using the find you need to you need to understand that it will return you a cursor not all the data so it that means the cursor means it will return you the first 20 results that are found in the that are matched with the query so now let's say that i want to have I want to get the books details which are having less than 20 okay or equal to which price is equal to exactly equal to 20 so if you want to get those book details means then what you can do normally as i said we will be applying the comparison operators let's try to see what are the comparison operators present in the mongodb so here if you go into this mongodb and if you go into the resources so this is the server we are learning so let's click on the server so it will open the Mang mongodb documentation you come down here you'll be able to see the reference and here you'll be able to see operators in these operators query and projection operators now if i click on this one query and projection operators the first one is the query selectors that is nothing but the comparison operators for comparison of different bison types so these are the things we will be doing so first one you knew, you, knew you understood about the eq so how we can use this eq so how we can use this eq is for example if you go into this one so i want to get a book whose price is exactly equal to 20 so for that one if i want to get what i can do is db dot books dot find so whose price is exactly 20 so this that's it so i can use the pretty now you got a books these are the list of books only one book is available that is nothing but a book 3 its price is exactly equal to 20 so not only like this you can also write it in an elaborate way this is a shorthand notation for writing exactly equal is equal to you can also use something like dollar eq colon 20 so this is also accepted only so you will get the same thing okay like this you will using so in the shorthand notation you can write price colon 20 so that is nothing but indirectly you are using this dollar eq only <clears throat> the next one what you can see is for example if you try to see our documentation here you'll be able to see gt dollar gt so this is also an operator so that is nothing but greater than so that means if i go here i want to get the books of price which are greater than 20 so now here there are three books are available which are greater than 20 that is nothing but 25 30 and 40 i am able to get the books whose price is greater than 20 this is how we'll be using so if you want to use the greater than operator we'll be using dollar gt in the same scenario you will be having dollar gte also greater than or equal to so that means here 
including the price value 20 i want to get all the price details book details so here i can use gte so now you will get a book 3 also which is having a price of 20 exactly equal to 20 and also 25 30 40 okay so in the same scenario if you try to see we also have something like less than okay less than means it will take only 12 and 4 so if you try to have another one so you can also use less than or equal to so now you will get 12 4 and 20 including the price which is having 12 uh, sorry which is having 20 you will also able to get that 20 which is having price of 20 also so these are some of the comparison op operators which you will be well which you will be very very well you will be using for example let's say that we know that eq means exactly equal to 20 i want now i want the books which are not equal to 20 other than 20 so whatever the price you are having so you can get it so now we can use something like ne not equal to so now you will get all the books details whose price is not equal to 20 it may be greater or lesser so whatever it may be whose price is not equal to 20 you'll be able to see so now the the book the the book so you are able to see so each one is not having equal to 20 so which are not equal to 20 only it will it will be showing the book details so these are some of the comparison operators that we have learned it so here you'll be able to see eq that is nothing but an equal gt greater than gte greater than or equal to you will we'll try to learn about the in thing also so it's a different thing you'll we'll try to learn it less than or equal to less than less than less than or equal to not equal to and not in so this one we will try to see about the in and not in afterwards so but these are the some of the comparison operators that we will be using more often in the while finding the documents in a collection so these are the query selectors we will be using comparison so this is all about the this one applying these query selectors in this comparison operators in the find method so this is how we will be doing so we have learned about the eq gt gte less than lt lte and not equal to in the next video, we'll try to learn about the not in and in operator also. Hope you understood about these things. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.